So can you see he's a pastor? Everybody need deliverance. I've been saying this, everybody Come on. need deliverance, this brother. Another one is here, the pastor here in Botswana. Everywhere. All of us, we need what? Deliverance means a new level. Does it mean that you are possessed only? It means a new level. Hello everyone, uh, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Reviving Destinies, here we revive destinies. So these two clips uh, which I play are the videos of uh, uh, Apostle Maganamisa, is from uh, Tembiza, Gauteng. Uh, I'm not sure whether Tembiza fall under Johannesburg or fall under Pretoria, you can correct me, but it's in the middle of them. Of both of them, so uh, that's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, Maganani is there's a very big church in Tembisa. So you heard what he said. Uh, I'm going to respond, uh, quote the scripture from that. You read the title very well. That uh, he said, uh, uh, all Christians need deliverance. Then he further said uh, in another clip. He further said. Uh, the deliverance does not mean you are possessed by demons, but uh, it's not always mean you are possessed by demons. Also, uh, uh, it means uh, going to another level. So, new dimension, that's what he said. So, uh, let me start with the fact of uh, the deliverance uh, because uh, 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 of demons. I'm just going to separate it into two so that people can get that briefly. So, uh, first of all, uh, the ministry of uh, deliverance, as uh, uh, they have explained uh, many uh, preachers uh, in Africa, they have explained uh, deliverance uh, is uh, is bit uh, questionable because I think they confuse deliverance with uh, the casting of demons. The Bible uh, uh, teaches the apostles. Uh, as they go uh, to preach the gospel, if you can visit the book of Matthew chapter number 10, that he tell them, he command them that go unto the world to preach the gospel. Uh, uh, those who are possessed, he says, cast out demons. He didn't say deliver them. He says cast out demons. So uh, I can start by uh, emphasizing that there is a line between casting out demons and uh, deliverance. Deliverance means to take somebody from one kingdom to another. That is deliverance. Uh, if you are in the kingdom of the devil, for example, they take you from the kingdom of the devil, they uh, bring you to the kingdom of light. That is deliverance. If uh, the children uh, uh, of Israel were captured by slavery, captivity, uh, when they were slaves uh, by Egypt, taking them to the uh, kingdom of Egypt into Kenya is deliverance. So, uh, there is a big line between deliverance and casting of demons. So, the scripture in the book of Matthew chapter number 10 says, Go unto the world and cast out demons. There is no way we emphasize the fact that deliver it. So, uh, also, uh, let me run from the book of John chapter number 19 verse number 30. The scripture says, uh, So, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bow, bowing his head, and he gave up his spirit. The context of the scripture is, uh, Jesus was on the cross. Then as he was on the cross, he asked something to drink. Then they gave him something to drink. After he drank that, he said what he said into this um, uh, context. He said, it is finished. So the emphasis of what is finished there, it is to show you that when uh, those who will be, who will accept him, will no longer be under bondage will be redeemed. The word redeemed means there will be the blood which compensates for them. So this means uh, to understand the salvation very well is uh, we are not saved because we went to a pastor who is able to lay hands on people, uh, uh, cast out demons. We are not saved because of our actions, of our good actions. We are not saved because we, we, we were righteous people, but we were saved because Jesus went to the cross for us, and as he went to the cross for us, he compensated uh, for us. That is why, if you can go to the book of John chapter number 20, uh, verse number 31, if I can read it very quickly. But this is written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ and the Son of God, and that uh, believing you may have 
life in his name. So you can see the scripture tell you that you have life. What type of life? Uh, the life in abundance, as I said yesterday, uh, that day. You have life. But uh, what makes you to have life is by believing. Uh, not because uh, of your actions, not because of your works, by your faith, uh, you have life. So, uh, uh, in another scripture, in the book of John, chapter number 5, verse number 24, it will tell you that truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who believes, everyone who believes will have uh, the everlasting life, will have the eternal life. He will be passed from death to life whenever he, he believes. So, it is our belief uh, which make us to come to that salvation. And as we are into that salvation, we are now saved. We don't need further deliverance whenever you are saved. So the statement of uh, all Christians need deliverance is at all uh, not correct. Because when we are Christians, we are saved. We don't need deliverance. You cannot deliver something which is in the, uh, uh, something which is in the safe position. So that's, that's how it is. I'm not saying uh, whenever you are a Christian, uh, it's finished about you. You don't have to uh, uh, come to the Lord. You don't have to resist the devil to do all, all things. As I'm going to quote uh, further scriptures now. Let me go to the book of uh, Galatians. Uh, uh, Galatians chapter number 3. Uh, I will read verse number 18. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. As it is written, curse is everyone who hangs on a tree. So that's, that's exactly what the scripture says. It tells you that Christ redeemed us. He redeemed, he set us free. His blood compensated for us. The word redemption means uh, uh, he comp there is a compensation on our behalf. Not because of our action, not because you attended uh, the church of a pastor who is a uh, 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 Powerful as they call themselves, they, 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 they classify themselves, but because of Christ went to the cross to compensate uh, for us by his blood, by dying on the cross of Calvary. So this means uh, uh, we are not saved because of our action. Christ redeemed us. He redeemed us from uh, the curse of the law. So whenever you are a Christian, you don't need deliverance. That's the, the truth of the matter. And I also emphasize that there is a big difference between deliverance and casting of demons. As I'm going to uh, quote the last scripture, to read the last scripture in the book of James chapter number 4 verse number 7. Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So you hear what the scripture tell you. It, it speaks about those who are already saved now. It doesn't say they need deliverance. The scripture tells them that they should submit to God. They should submit to God. And as they submit to God, they should resist the devil. Into this context, how are they going to resist the, the, the devil? By reading the scripture, by praying, by coming to God. Not, the, 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 the scripture doesn't say go to pastors and seek deliverance. It says resist the devil, submit to God. So that's the emphasis of the scripture. Verse number 8. Uh, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So the scripture emphasized that come closer to God. Batamela to the close of God uh, come to the presence of God. And to the presence of God is not a church. It's the presence of God. Cleanse your hands, <coughs> your sinners and your, uh, your purity, your heart you double minded. So you can hear that the scripture, uh, most of the scriptures, even if you can read them from the book of James, Timothy and other things, will tell you, it will emphasize that you should resist the devil, you should flee from the devil, you should cleanse your hands from sin, you should purify yourself, you should flee from the uh, uh, root of sinful nature. You should uh, resist the devil. You should fight every nature of sin in the book of Galatians. Uh, uh, so, so that's the emphasis of the scripture. It doesn't emphasize the fact that people need deliverance. You don't need further deliverance when you are already saved. When you are already saved, there is already redemption in you. So even if you can go further with the scripture to emphasize the point of uh, deliverance, uh, does not always mean you are possessed with demon. It means uh, going to another level. Let's read verse number 10. How do you go to another level as Magananis says? 
humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. It doesn't say go to a pastor to lay hands on you to go to another level. It says humble yourself to the sight of the Lord. He will lift you up. Even in the book of Matthew, the Bible will tell you that those who humble themselves, the Lord will lift them up. And those who lift themselves up, the Lord will humble them. So that's the emphasis of the scripture. It tells you clearly that the only time when the scripture speaks about people being lifted up, it is when uh, uh, the Bible emphasizes that you should be humble to be lifted up. Not to be delivered, to be lifted up. So that's, that's the emphasis of the scripture. So there is a big uh, problem which needs uh, the serious emphasis in the deliverance ministries uh, 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 into those, uh, uh, those who label themselves as deliverance ministries because there are lots of statements which are being made which they really need uh, the biblical emphasis with the fact that also uh, uh, the, 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 the trending thing which is happening in the deliverance churches is people don't, they are not led by Holy Spirit, people are not spiritual. Those are the comments which uh, they emphasize them a lot. Uh, I make a video about the God's purpose and Holy Spirit. Go and check it. I will uh, click it on the comment section to watch it also. And I'm, I'm still going to make a video about uh, uh, how to lead by Holy Spirit. Uh, how What is the purpose of the Holy Spirit starting from the ground? Uh, because we know that the deliverance ministries always says people are not led by Spirit. The Holy Spirit, they are not spiritual. Uh, uh, lots of uh, statements they are being made. Uh, from prophetic ministries, deliverance ministries, people are blind spiritually, those type of comments. So that is the reason why we make that uh, uh, apologetics because uh, there's still a no, uh, we still have a lo long way to go uh, in the African Christianity. I can end up my video there. Please don't forget to subscribe, click the notification button, share it with other people. Let me see you on the next video. Shalom.